defects of our political system that we always put a Secretary of the Treasury and other high government officials into a position in which when they make public statements they are almost driven. Well, what's the word I want to use? I want to use a polite word, equivocate. <laughs> Secretary Blumenthal knows as well as you and I do that inflation does not come from trade unions. That doesn't mean that trade unions aren't grasping. Of course they are. But they don't produce inflation for one simple reason. They do not own a printing press on which you can turn out green pieces of paper. The only such printing press is in Washington. I say printing press, of course, in the modern age, we do it in a more sophisticated way. We use bookkeepers and accountants and computers. But it comes down to the same thing. Inflation is made in Washington because only Washington can create money. And any other attribution of, to other groups of inflation is wrong. Consumers don't produce it. Producers don't produce it. The trade unions don't produce it. Foreign sheiks don't produce it. Oil imports don't produce it. What produces it is too much government spending and too much government creation of money and nothing else. Yes, sir. Before you clap, let me point out that the reason why we have too much printed spending and too much printing of money is because you people want it. You and I, we're citizens, we run this country. If Congress has been voting higher and higher spending, why? Because it has been politically profitable for them to do it. If they have been voting higher spending and not voting the higher taxes to pay for it, why? Because it's been politically profitable to do it. We would all like to get something for nothing. And so the political process has been leading to Congress increasing spending, not increasing taxes, and financing the difference by the hidden tax of inflation. I think we are unwise. But let's not blame the others. The problem, you know, in that famous statement of the cartoonist, we have met the enemy and they is us. 